Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that's going to explain to you how to utilize one of the most beautiful, bountiful gifts of nature we will call falling leaves. Now, I'm going to explain some things about it, and then I'm going to take you out and show you two methods that are very effective for utilizing this bounty of nature. So, why are leaves so important? Well, to understand this, we must look to nature, of course, and we will see that the trees send roots deep into the earth, and they mine the minerals that they need, and then it stores the minerals into the plant tissue, and it performs certain functions while it's there in the leaves, and then at the end of the year, they die and they fall to the ground, where they immediately begin to be decomposed by the soil food web. Uh, bacteria, fungi, arthropods, nematodes, all that stuff, it's all there and they all love it. Especially the earthworms. Leaves are the favorite food of the earthworm. And nature never tills in the leaves. We must remember this. Nature never tills it in. Uh, so it just puts it on top of the surface and allows it to decompose. And year after year of this, the um, soil becomes very, very fertile. And this is why nobody has to fertilize a forest because this cycle of mineral uh, recycling is there. So how do we utilize this um, cycle in our garden in a time frame that is practical for us? I'm gonna show you because yes, you can take leaves and just put them in a pile. And in about two to three years, they will have decomposed enough to become very usable and the minerals will become plant available again. But that takes two to three years, or the method where you put them in a black trash bag and poke holes in the trash bag and set it in a shady area. That also works, but again, to make true leaf mold like that is taken two to three or even four years, okay, depending on certain factors. Now this is because the, the engine that decomposes the leaves uh, speedily, fa in a fast manner, is the bacteria. And what they use for fuel to decompose is nitrogen. And so leaves are almost pure carbon. And so without the nitrogen, they're going to take a really long time to decompose. Longer than, than we have time to wait for when we're trying to grow food next spring. So what do we do? We're going to utilize uh, sources of nitrogen. And I will show you in the techniques how we're going to go about doing that. But if you utilize these techniques, you will have a mineral rich compost available to you by the springtime okay so let us get into it okay step one is to gather as many leaves as you can now this time of year people are already putting them in these convenient little bags for us and putting them out at the street so just drive around and gather them some caution though do not gather from people that have a black walnut tree or a locust tree in their yard both of those will cause issues for us so we go around and we gather preferably maple and oak, and I'll show you why. For this first technique, we're going to utilize mostly maple leaves because they break down the fastest. Also leaves from a fruit tree or a willow, those will break down all really fast. A couple oak leaves are no problem, but for the most part, for this technique, we want maple leaves. Now, fill your compost bin. This is a four by four cube, which is the perfect size. You could also make a pile of the same size if you don't have a bin but this bin works really well. So you fill about two feet of the leaves in there, and then we're gonna take some green material. And this is some of the Swiss chard that I have left, or you can also utilize um, cabbages or collard green leaves, but we're gonna need lots of the uh, nitrogen material. So now we're going to add a full layer. We're gonna put it, in, we're gonna put it evenly all over the whole thing of the um, Swiss chard leaves, and then we're also gonna add in there a few handfuls of the Peas. Now, peas are fantastic because they got loads of nitrogen and good bacteria in them that help the decomposition process. So you see, we put about oh, six to eight inches of the uh, material, and then we're going to put another two feet of leaves on top of that, and we're going to pack it down really good. Make sure you pack it down. Then we're going to add another layer of, of the greens, and we're going to pack that down. Then we're going to put more over it, and we're going to add multiple layers just like this until the entire bin or the pile is about four by four. And then we're gonna utilize the labs. And this is just the raw milk that I let go and it naturally created a, a form of labs. So we're just gonna dump that on the whole thing and that's really going to help. Also, we can add the urea fertilizer, some of the fish fertilizer, the JMS. And then we just put the lid on it and we're gonna let it sit all season. 
Okay, so that's the first technique, and that is going to give to you a whole bin full of very mineral-rich compost by springtime. And leaves, decomposed leaves, are one of the greatest sources of minerals for the garden. Utilizing these techniques, you will not need to add rock dust or any expensive kind of stuff. Leaves have got everything you need. So let me show you the next technique, which is, in my opinion, the best way to go about it. Okay, so this second method we are going to do on top of each bed that we have. And so here is the pea bed, which was also the corn bed earlier this year. So we're just going to mow down the vegetation and then add the leaves. And we're going to chop them up with the lawnmower. Now this is a very important aspect because if you do not utilize the lawnmower, this will take multiple years. And you'll be disappointed in the spring when you still have full piles of leaves. But see, then we're going to mow them and rake everything and then mow them. And the greens are all mixed together. And so if your bed doesn't have a bunch of greens on it already, then you can add them to it. So mow down some leaves, add some chard, some, some uh, peas, even this uh, rotted daikon radish because I let it go too long. All that stuff is green nitrogen source for the bacteria, and it's going to break down these leaves a lot faster. Now the next thing that we put on top of the beds is the leaves. And in this case, we're going to utilize oak leaves because oak leaves have one of the highest sources of minerals, but they take the longest to break down by far. So if you do not chop them up, you will, the oak leaves will look like this in the springtime if you just put them in a pile. So we need to, um, on top of each bed that we want to fertilize, we're going to add the green material and then some of the leaves. Any leaves will work, but oaks are really good. And then we're going to mow it up with a lawnmower. Now it's really important that we don't just ram the lawnmower into the pile because obviously that will make it stall. So what we want to do is just take off little bites. You see I'm lifting up the front of the lawnmower by pushing down on the back of it and just taking little bites and dragging it backwards and that is mixing in the greens and everything is getting mixed in all together until it looks like this to where everything is nice and chopped up we don't see any big piles of the leaves and I can just run over it naturally like this until now you see here the finished product and we've got it nicely uh, chopped up leaves and it's all mixed in with a lot of the greens. You can see the green material is in there uh, dispersed and it's going to add fuel for the bacteria to decompose and this is going to create a a utopia for the earthworms and the microorganisms all winter long. They are going to be breaking this stuff down, new, uh, fertilizing the soil. You see, we've got a good four, five, six inches of this stuff on each bed that we want to fertilize. So this is how we do this in place. And this really is the best technique that I have found. Okay, and uh, we can inoculate it with some of the urea fertilizer or the JDOM microbial solution. All of that helps. So that's pretty much it my friends. Go ahead and start gathering up as many of the leaves as you can because the next couple of videos are going to show you other techniques to utilize this beautiful bounty of nature. If you feel like you gained something from the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. First thing that comes to mind, just share your thoughts. And I will see you in the next one my friends.